Hey everyone, uh, I'm just out here messing around the garage, getting ready to do the test fit of the engine and transmission to make sure that we can get the trans transmission cross member customized so that it works properly and the uh, transmission tunnel in the car, see if it needs to be cut out or anything like that, uh, that'll be done. Uh, we're That'll probably be on the next video, the test fit, because I don't pick up the engine for a couple days here yet. Uh, or the old engine, that one, the block that's bad, I'm going to be using. And then I'm going to just bolt it to the transmission there and, and test fit them in. Um, but I got the car kind of pulled up a little bit further. I might come a little bit further with it again. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Well, I got uh, some stuff done. I got the dash out and part of the air box out on the outside. There's some bolts that come through from the inside. I'm going to show you where I'm at uh, just as a little update. Uh, let's take a little longer than I thought I was going to because of all the wiring inside the car. But let's check it out. All right, so here's that half of the dash. This side goes on the driver's side so where the steering wheel sits upside down right now, actually. The steering wheel sits... It should be, oh, well, it's just rolled this way. We need to roll it this way. Anyway, uh, so this is the top, not the bottom. I just, it sits better like that. Uh, I still can't believe that Ford only put this one bolt on the passenger side. That's it. That's all that holds it in that I can see. Um, there is another bolt hole there, but it doesn't look like it attaches to anything. So kind of kind of goofy um, I got those out last night here's the steering column laying here and so these are the front bumper uh, attachments I guess that they're the shocks that compress for helping to absorb some shock uh, I gotta get that part of the steering column out right there half of the air box is out. There's a bolt down there. I don't think we can see it with this. I don't have a light on it, but it's from the inside, not the outside, so I gotta get that out of there from the other side. So here we go on the inside. Look at all this mess. It's gotta come out of here just so we can Make sure that the transmission fits, because that is way too small. That, that little area right there, uh, where the transmission is supposed to go. That's just not going to fit. It's going to be too low, I think. Uh, the transmission is at least going to be too low to be able to uh, really drive over, you know. But it's already a low sitting car, so I don't want to be scraping the transmission on anything. I want to get in and show you here. This is just kind of ridiculous. There's a, still a portion of metal in there. You can see that. That's where the emergency brake hooks up. There's the thing for the pedal. That probably got to come out of there, I guess. To, well, maybe not. It looks like it. It, uh, it, uh, it looks like that'll slide over the top, so that'll be okay. Just gonna move that wire in all these wires here. And the door. I don't know whether I'm going to take those out or not. I might just disconnect them from uh, the dash side. So this this side over here, and then pull them so, and then leave the back side connected. So everything that goes back that way will still be connected in here. Uh, that little air box is going to come out just to uh, make sure, just in case I don't want to damage it if we have to cut out. Uh, for the transmission All right, I'm gonna get back to it All right, well, I got the heater box out that was a little bit of a chore We're going on the gas pedal so I can get the line out I'm gonna move the computer and the Brake pedal I guess Seems like it's gonna end up having to come out so that I can get this piece of insulation out because it is drenched on this side. 
and I'm going to replace that, I think. Um, that, and I don't know if it'll fit again after we cut the uh, transmission tunnel here, so. Anyway, we're making progress. This is kind of being a pain in the ass. I don't know what I'm going to have to do with this gas pedal. It's going to be figuring it out as we go. But, almost done for the day. Well, I, uh, I got a bunch more out. I'm going to show you here. I'm not even done in there yet. Still have the brake pedal to come out. It looks like one of the wiring harnesses isn't going to come out of there. It loops around and then still is connected to the car. Um, I'm going to have to figure that out. But uh, I got a third wiring harness out of this vehicle. That's the one that goes into the dash, controls all of the stuff um, hooked up to the steering wheel and the lights and the radio and all that stuff. Uh, anyway, I'll show you here. All right, so here's that other wiring harness that just came out. It was connected. That's what was connected down there uh, at the bottom where I showed you where it had all those connectors just down there in the kick panel of the door uh, next to the floorboard. So I got that out. Here's all of the pieces for the, the air box. And uh, uh, I also have got the, uh, this is the emergency brake and then that's the like engine control or the computer con that controls the things. I only have the brake pedal left and I am going to uh, get that out of there quick so that I can get that insulation out of there and probably throw it away. Uh, I would like to have been able to keep it, but maybe we'll find something that's a little bit thinner that we can keep the heat out with, you know, uh, and uh, we'll see what happens. But it's all filled with dirt and water and so I just don't want to keep using it and that way I can clean the floor up and get rid of the dust. Anyway, well, that's it. I got the brake pedal out. Not much gel left to do on the inside. I gotta clean up and uh, find a uh, gas pedal uh, nut that I lost, which I don't even know. If we have to end up getting, cutting the trans pedal, that might have to move anyway. Anyway, I'll show you what I did. So. There's that piece of insulation. And in here is all clean. Or the firewall is at least. I'm going to get in there and just pick up tools. Try and find that one nut. And uh, I'm going to call it a day. Well. That'll do it for the day. I'm gonna take and go get my trailer finished out. I already shoveled it today, so it was uh, drying off. Uh, I had about two feet of snow on top of it. So I gotta pick up that engine block tomorrow, and then I'm gonna get the car resituated in here and and do try and do start doing a test fitting of the engine and transmission. Uh, well, I do appreciate you joining me. If you like the video, please push the like button and if you want to see more subscribe and adjust your notifications so that you get them whenever we uh, post a new video. You can also leave a comment and I will do my best to answer any questions you have about this build or anything else. Uh, have a good day and thanks for joining.